The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished up 211, NASDAQ up 219, S&P's up 47, and that is a gain inside the Dow Industrials of 6 tenths of 1%, inside the NASDAQ of 1.65, inside the S&P 1.24. Gold, gold contract down $10.60, trading at 1923 an ounce. We had silver up 9 cents, $23.11 an ounce, light sweet crude. Down a buck sixty-nine, sixty-seven dollars sixty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note down eleven ticks, trading one twelve twenty-eight. The thirty-year down fifteen at one twenty-seven twenty. And king dollar, king dollar down two twenty, two hundred twenty ticks. That is one hundred two four seventy-one. The euro is at one hundred nine. The yen is at one forty-four, and the British pound is at one twenty-seven to one U.S. dollar. We we'll get over and take a look at the spy, folks. Bottom line, this wants to go after its highs. You know, you get the wide price spread, you can see it has light volume of 67 million. You're only going into 70 million though, but you have a high volume high, it's now laying, hanging out here at 443. I expect we're gonna get hit. We go into the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX. The three Qs, the way the three Qs are set up right now. Uh, you had 45 million shares. Now this hasn't broken the downturn yet like the S&P has, but that being said, you still have a high volume high at 372, so that's telling me that's gonna get more steam going top side. And then if we go into the gold contract, we take a look at the gold contract, <clears throat> excuse me, what you have with the gold contract, that is down 10 bucks, you get 176,000 contracts traded. We tested the low out here, which was the 1919.50, we hit 1919.80, here at 19.23. This is gonna be a close call, man. It's going to be a close call. It's coming into the strength from that March 17th. Already rejected it once. We'll see if we get another rejection out there. Notes and bonds, bottom line. My take is notes and bonds are going higher price, lower yield. And that's from not only just looking at these charts, because we're on 1.3 million on the way back. That's coming into a lot more volume that we had. Let's pull it up at these levels. Yeah, you're coming into 1.7. And then, hey, just look at Home Depot, look at Toll Brothers, look at Builders First. They're all breaking highs, man. You breaking highs, these uh, long-term, the mortgages are at 7%. They come down to 5.5%, you'll see that uh, real estate market explode. Stay right, uh, stay, no, don't stay there. Go have a blast, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Go get them, folks.